Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing: Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily, and I am Breakfast and Marathons. For Vlogmas today, we're gonna go volunteer. Every year my work does a day of service um, on the day of our holiday party. So we're gonna go and check out the location that we are volunteering at in Virginia. Come with me, let's go. But first, Starbucks. This is a um, Grande Caramel Brulee Latte and an Impossible Breakfast Sandwich. Leave a comment below. What do you get at Starbucks? What's your favorite holiday drink at Starbucks? Or any coffee shop for that matter? How cute is this? Does every Starbucks do this? Or is this just a my Starbucks thing? I've never seen it before. But I like it. What a nice start to the day. This year's location for our day of service at work was Northern Virginia Food Rescue. This year we were in charge of packing bags for unsheltered people and kids who were food insecure organizing their boxes for the farmer's market season and organizing the supplemental food that goes out to the food banks. I'm going to let our contact and the person who coordinated with our office explain a little bit about Northern Virginia Food Rescue. We rescue food from all over. We have an app that you can sign on to the app, move food from like grocery stores to pantries, but the greater Prince William area is Prince William County town of Dumfries, city of Manassas, Manassas Park. There's over 50 pantries in the greater Prince William area that we feed through, food through to get to the community. We do a hypothermia shelter here in Manassas at Manassas Baptist Church, which operates on temperatures when it's 32 degrees or below or in climate weather. So what happens there is uh, we open up so that people who are in shelter are sleeping on the grounds or in, in benches and stuff like that. Unfortunately, the campsites are few and far between right now in this area. You know, they're just finding a harder, harder to find places to camp. So with that, we have to open up some kind of a shelter for them to come in, and especially in the severe climate weather that uh, is very dangerous to their health, to come in and sleep for a night. We do have uh, uh, a process for each person that comes in but uh, we don't require them to have an ID, but it's nice when they do, so. But uh, it's, it's operated on temperatures 32 degrees or below, and it's held at Manassas Baptist, which gives us an area to operate out of, um, which uh, is another part of, the, of what I consider a ministry for that church. So he also has people that sign up, and I'll take you to a different section, people that sign up to cook for them, um, we get some really good food. Yes, we do. <laughs> and wow. thanks to Food Rescue, a lot of our uh, our meals that are prepared are prepared by stuff that they get here. These are things that are donated um, from the grocery stores for people really unloading their pantries and donating that. So it's glass or it's things that are too heavy for that. Um, this is my unsheltered section so we make unsheltered bags for those that are living without a roof over their head not all are allowed to go into the hypothermia shelters depending on their background doesn't mean they shouldn't eat um, so these are all easy open for sweets uh, when you're dealing with mental health or mental illness or even addiction hitting that part of the brain is huge we have plastic made into what looks like wood so if you collect five uh, 500 pounds a year they'll make you a bench Wow. So we have a lot of things that are wrapped. The place next door uses a lot of bubble wrap. So we're just collecting to take a truck over and we are on our third bench. Used awesome. to be every six months and they got Good. smart now so every year. Um, these all lock in. And all what we're doing with this is getting this ready for the farmer's market season next year. Because we'll take it, box it, so we're not giving them all of our milk crates. So, I'm giving pictures smile <laughs> forward. We send bags home with kids on the weekends. Um, identified by the school social worker 
uh, being food insecure, and the meaning of that for us is they are probably only eating at school. So these are staple items that can the kids can microwave, um, parents can prepare, maybe they're at work on the weekend, so the kids have something. But we always put a microwavable meal in, or something that they can heat up themselves without having to use the stove. While we were volunteering, I was chatting with a man who was shopping for a family in need. He was telling me that his granddaughter's husband was in a bad motorcycle accident last year and hasn't been able to work since. And it's been really, really hard for them to make ends meet with one salary and him being out of work with all of the bills and the mortgage and food costs and everything. So he said that he comes here sometimes so that he can pick up some food for them to help them survive. They told me also at the end of our tour and our volunteer time that they really encourage people to go more to the food banks than to go to their warehouse because they are more of the distribution center, but they will never turn anyone away who comes by and is hungry. So I feel like this is a really great organization and I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to volunteer with them once again this year. This will make the second year in a row and I definitely will be back to volunteer more often with them. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And while you're doing that, why don't you hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you are notified every time I post on my channel. And until next time, bye! Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you 